Okay, so can you use the Microsoft PowerPoint on the iPad and let's get into it. So the Microsoft PowerPoint is an app which is in fact supported on the iPad OS. So it technically works, right? The issue with it is that you can go ahead and install it on your iPad, but you cannot really just start using it right away. What you'll need to do in order to begin using it is to have an account, which is not a big deal, but then you also are required to get a subscription for the app to be actually used on your iPad. So PowerPoint comes with the 365 subscription from Microsoft, which is a monthly recurring payment. And if you don't have that, well, you will not really have the ability to use the PowerPoint the way that you want. Like you may be uh, like allowed to view some existing presentations, but I don't think you'll be able to create one on your own, which is of course the main purpose of the app. So what I would recommend you to do in this case is to uh, go ahead and just uh, start a PowerPoint presentation, which is technically not that, but it is an app called Keynote on your iPad and it is from Apple. So it should be freely available so if you already have the Keynote app, go ahead and explore that. And it is just an alternative to the PowerPoint. And just go ahead and see if it actually works for you the way that you would want it. So yeah, that would be my idea to like my tip from, from me to you. Go ahead and explore the Apple Keynote app. And if not, you can still explore the Google Slides, which is also another great alternative, which doesn't require any subscription. So that's okay to explore as well. Just let me know below in the comments uh, what option you decided to go with, as I'm kind of curious to know about that. But yeah, subscribe for more tutorials and guides like this one, and I'll see you in the future.